Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 4 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a total of 32 magnets, eight metal cabinets, equal number of magnets attached to each cabinet. We need to find a model here that represents this. All right, so there are a few things that we could use to kind of help us figure this out. So take a look at this. When we're thinking of a strip diagram, whenever we figure out what the total is, and sometimes they tell us what the total is, sometimes we have to kind of infer it, but they literally use the word total. Okay, that's always going to be our hole that we use. I draw it on the top. You see in all our pictures here, they draw it on the bottom. Either way, it's going to represent the entire span of what we're doing. So that's our total. Okay. So they were attached to eight metal cabinets. What do we do with that eight? We add eight, subtract eight, multiply eight, divide by eight. Well, here we go. When we see this equal number, okay, equal number, that is a big clue that we're talking about equal groups. And what we're going to find starting in third grade and continuing you know, through the rest of high school right, and beyond is whenever you see anything that says equal groups, so it could be equal number, equal groups, the same number in each group, whenever the problem says that you've got equal groups in some way, that means that we are dealing with either multiplication or division. Okay, so they were attached to eight metal cabinets, and there's an equal number of magnets uh, attached to each cabinet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my eight cabinets like this. I want to solve this problem. Then I'll find the best representation for it. So here's my eight cabinets. Total of 32 magnets were attached to eight metal cabinets in equal numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 32, and I'm just going to start splitting them up. One in each one, two, three, four. And I'm just gonna kind of go on five, six, seven, eight. So there's one each. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That makes sense. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I'm getting close. Now I've got three on each. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, so I've used all of them. Which model could be used to find the number of magnets attached to each cabinet? Well, I just figured it out. There's four on each. Now, if I recognize this as a division problem, right, I could have said, okay, so I took my 32, and I divided it, right, because I've got equal groups into eight cabinets equally. Well, 32 divided by 8, hopefully I know that as a fact. That's going to be 4. I could have also done this. I could have said, okay, 8 cabinets times an unknown number of magnets on each cabinet is going to equal 32 magnets. So either way you look at it, we're looking at 4. Okay, so one thing that we can do here is we can say, you know what, I've got four. Which model is going to be used to find the, the number of magnets attached to each cabinet? How many magnets do I have on each cabinet? Four. So what happens if I just put a four for each question mark? Well, how's that going to work for A? Okay, that's eight times 32 is what that is. That's showing me there's eight groups of 32. And that's going to equal, wow, 24, 25, 256, uh, not 4. B, yeah, look at that. There's my 8 cabinets. So that's a good strip diagram. I like that one. Look, that shows 4, but it really should be 40. That's a 4, but then 8 plus 4, that makes 12. So that's not going to work. Yeah, this strip diagram is very similar to kind of what I did down here. So the answer is going to be B.